I am grounded. I am peaceful and I am thankful. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Riley Rose. And on my channel, I do fashion videos, fashion hauls, vlogs, and so much more. And today we're gonna be getting into the more because I am bringing you guys four ways to glow up this summer. And I think these are pretty good. These have worked for me. I actually recently, wait for it, you guys. I lost 20 pounds and like this did not just happen overnight obviously if it happens overnight that's like a little concerning I think I wish it did though yeah I'm so proud of myself you guys and that's just a little tidbit obviously um but yeah if you guys want to see the four ways to glow up this summer from your girl then keep watching so I want to preface this by saying these are all things that I personally do and it works for me. I truly believe it can work for every person just because it's pretty like standard, I guess. Um, but some people don't know this. So let's just get right into it, okay? I have my little list right here, you guys, and we're just going to go ahead and get into it, okay? Number one, if y'all want to glow up this summer, you got to wake your ass up before 9 a.m. Honestly, before 8 a.m. if you can. The number one thing is to wake up early and have a morning routine. I read an article a couple weeks ago. It was saying how all successful people have a morning routine. And it totally makes sense. Like, if you're up just doing nothing, like, just chilling in the morning, like, you're not going to get anything done. So, um, what I like to do in the morning is I like to wake up. I don't touch my phone in the morning. I have found that has helped me so much because when you check your phone, you're, like, tuning back into the life that you already have. And when you want to create a new thing in your life or a new possibility, you can't go back to the old, you know? It's basic. So... I don't like to touch my phone. It's um, inevitable at times, you know, if, if um, your mom calls you or you know. But for the most part, if you can help it, don't touch your phone when you wake up. So obviously you need to make your bed. Um, I'm pretty sure all successful people make their bed. And then what I like to do is I open my window right away because when you get that fresh air into your room, it totally cleanses your space. So that's the number one thing I do. And then I head to the bathroom. I wash my face. I brush my teeth. I scrape my tongue. And that is all part of my routine in the morning. I also like to do a little bit of a meditation or a yoga um class in the morning doesn't have to be long because when you can get yourself um up and moving in the morning i have found it has helped so so much now for number two how you can glow up this summer is to fast 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 don't eat stop eating never eat again no i'm kidding <laughs> i'm kidding you guys i actually have been wanting to fast for well I had wanted to fast for so long and I always talked about it I always bounce ideas off my friends and my family and I was like I should fast you know we should all go on a fast just because I've heard you know the benefits are amazing come to find out it worked so I intermittent fast that's the number one thing so how you can do this is I recommend to intermittent fast anywhere from 12 hours at the minimum you honestly want to go more but if you're used to eating pretty you know normally then i would start with 12 hours which basically you can just stop when you sleep and a couple more hours and then you'll get to 12 but if you can go longer that is obviously more beneficial so i do recommend going anywhere from 12 to 20 hours a day so at 16 hours your body starts to um, burn its its fat. So that's kind of what you want to get to. Um, you don't want to eat anything before that if you can help it because you're going to burn fat. And I mean, most of the people watching my channel are girls. If you're a guy too though, it's more than just to burn fat. But when you intermittent fast, 
it does a few things. It clears your mind because when your stomach is not digesting, your mind literally clears up. If you don't believe me, look online. It will tell you, okay? Um, on top of that, it detoxes your liver. Your liver processes like everything, y'all. Like everything. So if that can be detoxified, then, you know, of course, that's going to be helpful to your body as a whole. Um, also, at about 16 hours, your body starts to produce the human growth hormone, and that can fight against disease as well as make you look younger. The longest I have gone on a fast is 42 hours, and honestly, after about 36 hours, it gets pretty easy, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, it just totally helps your body as a whole, and I have seen my weight loss like skyrocket ever since I started to fast and like I said before if you can only start with 12 hours that is perfectly fine because you do not need to put more pressure on yourself than you already have but yeah y'all so intermittent fast as long as you can and then um, if you can I would recommend to go on a longer fast just try 24 hours that can be your starting point because at 24 hours, some amazing things starts to happen in your body, even more than a 16 hour time frame. So, um, yeah, I recommend that for sure, you guys. So fast, All right, y'all. Number three, exercise. If you can exercise every day, you will glow up. It's inevitable. It's literally inevitable. I did this because, you know, I would work out, I would do Pilates and stuff, but I would still be eating kind of bad and I would still be doing some other stuff, you know, drinking alcohol and stuff like that. So it all goes hand in hand. I want to mention that. But if you can exercise every day, you're helping yourself way more than you know. So my personal favorite exercise is to walk. And I try to walk 15 miles a week and that has really helped me. Um, you would think, oh, it's just walking, you know, what is that going to do? But once you do it over and over again, week after week, you see the results and you're just like, wow, that is so crazy. So I would recommend to walk if you don't like to do like a vigorous exercise. That's probably the best way. Another thing I'd recommend, especially for my ladies out there is Pilates. I have been doing Pilates for over a year now. And it has transformed my body like you can't imagine. It targets your stomach, which is like basically where all the girls have the problems, as well as your thighs and your legs and your arms, your underarms and stuff like that. And Pilates has helped me immensely. So I recommend to walk and do Pilates. And of course, yoga is like my best friend because not only does it help your mental state, it helps your you know, whole body work better. On to the last and the fourth thing that you should do this summer to glow up. And I think it's the most important thing. Meditation. Okay. Meditate. Honey, if you don't do anything else, I think you should meditate and fast, but meditate. When you meditate, you clear your mind and um, you're able to bring the new possibilities in. If y'all overthink like me, then you definitely have experience just being so overwhelmed, so crazy in your own head and you don't know what to do. So a meditation a day will help you so much because it calms your mind. It gets you right back to the moment that's happening right now. And it literally helps you feel more happy, feel more grateful, thankful. Um, you feel more love. Those just come on to you if you can just think of nothing. That's what you have to do. When you meditate, just tell yourself nothing, nothing, nothing. And then think of a higher emotion like love, gratitude, thankfulness, happiness, bliss, anything like that. And when you bring those higher emotions in, they start to become you. And so when you're done with the meditation, that takes over your life. And say, you know, you have a bad boss at work or a bad coworker or, you know, whatever it may be, you will feel like it doesn't even matter because my inner world, my inner self is so at peace. It doesn't matter. I am grounded. I am peaceful and I am thankful. And I'd like to mention that thankfulness and gratitude is the highest form of receivership. 
So I would definitely try to channel that emotion the most when you're in your meditative state because that will bring you the most back, you know? And what we put out into this world is what we get back. Everything is a mirror. That's what I recommend, you guys. Um, if you do nothing else from what, what I said, I would recommend to meditate um, because the benefits are just amazing for that. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a big, big thumbs up, please. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers, you guys, and more and more and more. But I love all the support, and I'm going to be coming to you guys with more content very soon. I know I've been all over the place. Um, Just bear with me. I'm going to be bringing you guys some more Get ready with me as well as um some makeup stuff i think and fashion you know the vibes and i do want to get more into the spiritual side so let me know if you guys liked this video and i will see you guys in my next video